like halfway out. You know, I like a southeast wind, but I like to catch a change in the tide. You know, right when the tide first starts slowing down. Like right now, it's running a little bit hard. That's why we. That's why they slow right now. But as soon as it starts slowing down, in about nine o'clock, it's going to start slowing down pretty good. You know, you will start picking up fish again. It's and it's funny. I, I, you know, they, they try to like just like people. They don't want to fight that heavy, heavy. You know, tide. What they're looking for is where it's the easiest for them to find food. They don't have to spend a lot of energy. So. Uh, you know, most cases they bite right at the change of the tide. Well, that's where every rodeo, see that chain right there? Every rodeo in the, in the city was worn right there by the chain. So six, six, six and a half, seven pounds would come from that chain right there. We're going to go there. That's why I caught, I got two five pound fish there yesterday. So, But that chain's incredible. You just got to beat Dr. Weiss there. You know, when I know the fish are in here, I, I make that commitment. I'm going to stay in here. They're going to bite. You know, like recently, it's been up and down. I've had one really good day yesterday, 20. So, you you know, what ends up happening is you, you just don't have that total confidence this is the place you're going to be. I know they still got fish in the lake, so. But I had some good fish yesterday. And, and then those fish I caught by the chain over there, that, that was my, uh, that's the first big fish I've caught there this year. And I try every time because that's the kind of spot where you're going to pull in there one day and catch 60 or 70 and average four pounds a piece. But they always bite on the dock downside of the tide, too. So if you go there when it's running too hard, you just don't catch. Doc, see, Doc gets up in there. I'll be bouncing all around. Doc will get up in there. And he'll, he'll get there at 3 o'clock in the morning. And it, it, it may not change until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. He will just sit there the wait whole time and wait it out. It gets a lot of pressure, but there's a lot of fish come through here. You know, the ruling, the general rule out here used to be the first moon in June. Because that's when the shrimp would all start leaving the lake. That's when they show up in here. Now this year there's so many pogies into the lake that it's going to be a while before the fish really come in here. But I think the heat in the middle of summertime will bring them through here. What will happen is they'll, uh, you know, the water's warmer down here deep. I think that's a big part of it. I think the bait's going to, you know, congregate more in here. Because you'd be catching one occasion or drifting, but you know you, the bait wasn't drifting, right? And they'd all get ready to go and you'd pull up like, hit that bumper and you'd anchor so that the boat would sit right. And then they would tell you, they would say, uh, I thought we were moving. And I'd say, no, the fish are right here. Fish, too. Good fish. Nice. Fat, speckled trout. I'll tell you what, Oh, they eating good here with all them pogies coming through this fast. See that? I mean, Look at the pogies come out. You saw that? My shrimp. Throwing them up. Okay. This is, for where we at right now, this is a small fish right here. Now, you know, closer in, there's a lot of fish like this, but this is actually a small, but you can see the girth on I mean, that's about as solid as a fish can get, you know, big wide body, what? drum on, big trout. That's what happens too when them drums come in here. You'll be catching those drums, you say, oh, I got a drum. And all of a sudden, they come to the top of the wall, you hear, get to that, get to that, get to that, get to that. Everybody be hollering for the net. It's gonna be a drum. Drum. Now see, this to me is the best size eating drum right here. Yeah. This is a money fish for them guys that catch them on the lines you too. Can, you can do a lot Anything with them, yeah. I'd rather eat drums. Uh, I've, I've always been fond. I've mean, I got a beautiful white meat on them, and uh, I tell you what, it's, it's just incredible how good they really are. You know, if this fish would be purple or pink or yellow, we'd be saying, God, look, we got a drum. You know, but because he's so blonde, drab shaped, that's why, you know, we, we look down on these things. Coming up, digging down. Coming up, digging down. Yeah, another. Nah, I got another drum. I got a bite. Boom, boom. Ah, oh, I missed him. I'm gonna give it about ten more minutes here, and then we'll go one, over there and see if we can catch some more. One, one more you try to get a little run of trout. One more, one more fish. That's my famous saying. You do know that. Now, let me make one more cast. So one more fish. You like you that way too in the boat? Yeah. Let's just do one more. Why not? One more shrimp, and then you catch one with it, and you make about ten more. Well, of course. One at a time. Boom. Another right out of the same mold. Like the Octomom lives down there. <laughs> yeah, right. You <laughs> might be right. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, See, hey, cold. and let me tell you what. I'm going to I'm going to steal that. <laughs> Octomom. Put them out. One right after the other. Twins. Octoplets. I'm going to steal that one from you. <laughs> <laughs>